This video is going to begin a series on the spinal cord and we are going to begin with functions of the spinal cord. Now we have seen this picture before and remember this picture is of an action potential moving through our entire cell membrane. And so our spinal cord, because it contains lots of nerve fibers, is going to function in conduction. Now I want you to remember that in the central nervous system, axon fibers are going to be called tracks. And in the peripheral nervous system, axon fibers or nerve fibers are going to be called nerves. We are going to use these terms throughout our discussions of the spinal cord. And we're really just talking about axons, but we have to use different terminology when we're in the central nervous system compared to the peripheral nervous system. Our next characteristic of our spinal cord or function of our spinal cord is neural integration. So here we have a cell body and we have lots of dendrites coming off of our cell body and then you see tons of incoming information coming into our dendrites, coming into our cell body and our cells inside of our spinal cord are going to have to make a lot of decisions regarding that information. So and when we talk about neural integration we're really talking about receiving information from many different areas, then integrating that information to produce an appropriate response. So as all this information comes into this cell body, this cell body is going to make a decision on what information to send out to other areas of the spinal cord or the brain. Our third function of the spinal cord is locomotion. Our third function of the spinal cord is locomotion. Our spinal cord contains things that are called central pattern generators. These are going to be groups of neurons that create and maintain repetitive motions such as walking. Generally, when you're walking, you don't have to put a whole lot of thought into it and uh, you don't need to consciously think about each step that you take. And so your spinal cord really takes over and it does some of these automatic functions for us. And lastly, we have reflexes. Reflexes are really important to posture to motor coordination and protective responses to pain or injury. Reflexes can be defined as automatic stereotyped responses to stimuli. We will talk about reflexes in later videos in this series. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.